Hey, welcome to Miss Download's 100th episode. I am Cheryl Poirier. Well, the boys at Google have done it again. They've created a fun, useful application that lets you travel the world right from your desk. It's called Google Earth, and it's a multifaceted virtual globe that really lets you explore the world. Best of all, it has a 3D view of everything. Where to start? Hmm, let's see. Let's go to Toronto. Now, see, you can see this is a bird's eye view of Toronto and the city, and there's so many things to see. But what I want to do is actually get a little bit closer right down here. I'm going to move just a little bit over this way a little, and you can see, you can see what I'm focusing in on. It's probably my, famous land, my, the fa my favorite landmark in the entire world. It is the CN Tower, and as we get lower down, the base of the CN Tower. That's what the base of the CN Tower looks like when you're walking along. Well, let's look around a little bit, because over here, you can see, there's the Rogers Center. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see the CN Tower actually towering over the Rogers Center, which is all very fun and fascinating because I live in Toronto. But let's go to someplace else I'd like to go to, and that's the Grand Canyon. Okay, so here we are in Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, a little boring, and when I first zoomed in here, there was no canyon. But <laughs> let's move over here, and there is the Grand Canyon. Now, as you can see, we're up above, but I'm going to get down below. One of the things that I've always wanted to do is actually see the Grand Canyon at sunrise. And by using Google Earth, I can actually, let's, let's turn this way and see there's a tool here and if I click on the sun it brings up a slider bar a time slider bar and I'm just going to move that to a little earlier and you can see so that's what the Grand Canyon looked like at 824 850 at 926 the sun came up over the Grand Canyon and look at that <gasps> I just saw the sun rise over the Grand Canyon <gasps> That's something I can check off my bucket list now. <laughs> now, there's so many things that Google has packed into this program that I'd love to show you, but we just really don't have the time. One thing that I will show you, though, is it has a flight simulator. Click on the tool and enter flight simulator. You can fly either an F-16 or an SR-2 four-passenger prop plane over any city. So I'm going to start this flight right now. Now, um, suffice it to whoa, suffice it to say, I'm not actually really good at this. <laughs> and so far, I've actually crashed into the CN Tower, uh, the Eiffel Tower, St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City as well, and it looks like I'm going to go right into the floor of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Thankfully, the only thing hurt was my pride. So I'm going to try and practice that again. And in the meantime, go ahead, download Google Earth, because it's fun, interesting, and best of all, it's free. Head on over to butterscotch.com, check out any of the 99 episodes that came just before this 100 episode, and also check out my Butterscotch friends. Speaking of friends, be sure to head over to Hover, because it's the easiest place to register a domain name. And if you use the promo code at the bottom of the screen, you'll get 10% off your next domain registration. I think that's pretty awesome. Check it out, and check out Google Earth. We'll see you again soon.